today's video we're going to be checking this out and a few other things here we are at Wat Ta Sung which is an old Ayutthaya temple and uh, it's been seriously renovated and it's got some really really cool stuff you can see this little wee hand behind me and then there's uh, Buddha statues all around there's uh, supposed to be like a glass hall where you can walk through and see and then it has some old Ayutthaya style buildings that have been renovated and actually have built new buildings over the top of them so we're going to take a look at all of this and see what we can This is one of the most important temples in this region. It's the biggest draw. So the Thais come over here and they, uh, they become tourists when they go to places like this. So we're gonna go look in here first. And then you can see over here, they have a, like a walkway with all these seated Buddha. And then there's a building over there. And then we cross the road. As you can see, there's more of the walkway and everything. And then we cross the road over there and there's the old Ayutthaya style buildings down by the river. So let's go into this building. It is just colossal. Can you see all the detail work? All the gold and purple and greens. Yeah, this is nice. You gotta take your shoes off down here and then we'll go in and we'll look in this building. So I have some chairs set up here for some reason. And uh, they have a couple Buddhas. They were saying something about a queue, so I don't know if you uh, have to get a queue to go up to the top. We'll figure it out, though. You can see the ties are over here posing for pictures. Yeah, this is quite nice here. And you can't go anywhere in Thailand without a sleepy dog. So he's over here. You can see all the styling on the inside of this building. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Okay, let's see if we can go up to the stairs now. Okay, so you do, you have to come over here, get some tickets for this little queue. So from nine to 12, and then from one to four, you can go up to the top. All right, so let's go up to the top here. We had to give them our queue numbers, and now we can go up here and see what this is. So up here they have all the different Buddhas, and they have these mirrors set up on all the columns so you can see they have like little shrines and stuff set up that's kind of a neat little area so they have all these little cubbies here where they have these buddhas in these cases and then they have more stuff here and then there's like a little sign saying something about them here in thai looks like over here they have kind of an older looking buddha and then you can go up some more stairs. So there's some more stairs. Now down there, I think those were names of the people that have donated the Buddhas to the temple. It's quite interesting. So they have more of these Buddhas. And then they have windows here, so you can see outside. Let's take a look outside of this. It's looking towards that other white building over there. So they have some windows up here, and you can see out. And you can turn this little hand crank and open it up, but it doesn't open up very far. And they have a million little Buddhas. Kind of what you run into here is you're getting stopped continuously with the ties posing for pictures in front of all of these. All right, this wasn't exactly what I thought inside here. The building looks fantastic from the outside, but to me, this is just a bunch of statues and stuff like that. All right, let's go see something else here in this. All right, let's go over there and take a look at that now. This temple complex is so sprawling. They have these little carts to haul you around. Let's take a look up there really quick. So they have a gate with this closed off. We can see all these Buddhas that are sitting up here. So they shine a light on them and they light this up at night. And they have just this whole compound kind of ringed by all these Buddhas. They have a little chedi over there. It has a couple Buddha statues inside of it. And then here's this main building that we're going to. Yeah, the grounds here at this temple are fantastic. They're really well maintained. It's quite beautiful. Now, it's an old temple with a lot of new stuff built onto it. All right, so this building here must be some kind of administration building because it's locked up. Let's keep on walking around. 
and right over behind that white building, this looks like a school of some kind. And they have a humongous standing Buddha with the alms bowl built right into it. And then they have a couple little chetties and stuff like that. And this will be kind of hard to see the whole thing, but look at this silver building. Now this is part of, it looks like it's part of where the Buddhists will come over and do like the meditation. So part of the meditation center, I think. But check that out, that's pretty cool. So over here is another like little moon drop. It's supposed to have the Buddha inside and it's open from 9 to 10.30. So we'll go up here really quick. And this is the Buddha that's inside here. So the ties will come over here and it'll make merit and pray to these. Like this guy's doing right here. He's leaving the little uh, offering thing. So leave fruit and you can make a donation and get the plate right over there. Just to give you an idea how big this place is. So we're in just one little part of this temple grounds and they have all of these dormitories and then they have places over here for the people that come and do the meditation. And we want to go to another building that's 900 meters away from here. That's all part of this temple grounds. And then there's the old buildings that are probably like uh, four or 500 meters away in the opposite direction. Uh -huh. One, two, three. <laughs> We did all Long Pa. Alright, so that was pretty random. I uh, can say that's the first time I've ever had that happen. So I was parking a motorcycle and a monk needed a ride. So uh, I took my saddlebags off my motorcycle, let him jump on side saddle, and uh, I took him down the road. It was a pretty nice guy, actually. Uh, he's going to be a doctor next month, and he's uh, doing his monk thing. And uh, he came up here, traveled just to come over here to see this temple. So uh, let's go in and see this. This is the, uh, the main attraction at this temple. Okay, so right out here in front, they have some of the Thai kings. That's Rama 7, Rama 6, Rama 5, and Rama 1. Let's go in here and see this now. You can see that gold roof on this building, or the silver roof. The monk's gonna load up the equipment here. <laughs> when you're a monk, you can do anything, I guess, huh? <laughs> so it looks like they're doing a little bit of renovation. And we'll go in here. They have another little moon drop with the Buddha shrine in there, but we won't see it. This is the main thing. So we'll take off our shoes and go in. Here's the hours that you can access this hall. This was built in 2532. It's 2566 right now, so it's 34 years old. Okay, so this is the big hall. And this looks absolutely massive. Have a lady dressed up in the Thai traditional clothes. Wow, take a look at this place. So all the columns have all these little pieces of glass that reflect. Okay, so what's in here is this guy right here. This is a very famous monk from this area. And whenever he died, they put his body right in there. The Thais do this. It's kind of a gruesome practice, but it is what they do. They always say, like, you go to these temples, there'll be a body here, and they'll say it's undecomposed, and they'll just uh, have them here, and the tithes will come, and uh, they will uh, pray to them. And you go to some of these temples, and the people put, like, the gold leaf on the monk's, like, skeleton on his, like, skull and stuff like that. But it's, it's what they do. And that's really cool. This is a fantastic hall. This is something I haven't seen before. This is really nice. So here is the main Buddha that they come and pray to. You can see everybody out here making merit. And they put carpet down. Yeah, this is a beautiful hall. It has the marble floor and these little columns. And right over here, this is where you buy your little, the donation stuff. They got the lady monks operating it. And people make little donations to the temple here and all around. Okay, let's go over and see if we can get into those old buildings. Okay, here are the old ones. So we had to come down the road about a kilometer and a half to this part. This is probably the biggest temple complex I've ever seen. 
There's the lake and everything else in as the meditation center. So this is the old Ayutthaya style part. So you see what they've done. This is the old, old, old building. And then they've built this building around the outside of it to keep it protected, which is really nice. I like where they've preserved some of the history of this stuff. And they have a humongous bell here. It's not quite as big as the bell that I saw in Mangoon in Myanmar, but that, that's the largest bell you can ring. This is still a good size one. See, it has a massive chain up there holding it up. And then over there is like another one of those silver moon drops. And here they have a shrine, but it's locked up. It has an old monk in there. Right next to that little shrine and behind the bell. Here is the wee hand. And it's another Ayutthaya style wee hand. And they've built the glass and everything all around it to keep this in good shape. So let's go in here and let's take a look at this. So they have a seated Chinese style Buddha and then it has some murals. They have a Guan Yin and another Guan Yin over here. Now the murals have been redone fairly recently. I was reading that they had some local artisans come over and uh, redo these murals that are inside of here. You can see how they're painted. And it still has like the, the red and gold ceiling. Definitely some Ayutthaya styling to this. And if you look at this Buddha, the Buddha does look a little different. Look at the mouth of the Buddha. It's kind of a little bit different style. Same as this right here. These two look quite a bit different than what you normally see. And then there's that the head abbot where his body is over in that humongous glass pagoda thing. And then they have a uh, like the forest monk or whoever and so the the Thais come here and make merit and pray to him. And then they have the normal scene, the goddess of the earth flooding the world. Yeah, the murals are really nice. They're not the old Ayutthaya style. They're more of a modern interpretation of it, but they're still pretty cool. And then you can see behind the Buddha has like the, the Bodai tree there and then it has some of the, the monks giving the sermon, elephants, the normal stuff you see. And they have, you know, that's definitely modern. They have some like little, little cars over there. So what the Thais do here is they say that little prayer and then they write their blessing or their wish on that little piece of paper and then they make a donation to the temple and that will help it come true. Over here they have their, the replica of the Buddha footprint and some other things, a little alms bowl. So the people will stick the gold leaf on the Buddha footprint here and some of these gold chetties. And then this is the old ordination hall. And it looks like it's closed up today. I came in here yesterday and uh, took some pictures and stuff and they closed at four o'clock. They chased us out. So I never was able to film inside of there. And it's closed until 12.30, from 12 until four, 12.30 to four. We can see the styling and stuff. So I'll put some in the video here. I'll put some of the pictures from inside. You can see the styling above the doors and the seated Buddha and some other things. Now inside there, the monk will give the blessings. Like if somebody has a, like a pain in their knee, he'll stick the, the little brush and everything on their knee to try to get the pain to go away. He has a little bit of faith healing. And then right over here on the other side is the Sake Krang River. And over here they have some little writing and it's kind of a write up and it uh, talks about if you uh, steal from the temple or anything like that, that you will have some bad fortune. Then you have a uh, Bodai tree and right over here by the river. So let's take a look at this really quick. And this is the river. This is a tributary that eventually runs into the Chao Phraya River, not too far from here. This is the Saki Kang. And the temple itself is just built right here. So this is the original part of it. And then all the rest of that stuff that you saw is just all been added later, like these monk quarters. But there was just the two small halls right here back in the Ayutthaya days. All right guys, that's gonna finish up our video here. 
This is a fantastic temple. It's probably the biggest temple I've seen in Thailand. It's just absolutely huge. I didn't show you all the riding of the motorcycle between different sections. You did get to see the monk jump on the motorcycle and go with me. I had to take him way off in the boonies to a, to a restaurant. He's gonna meet a bus and go back to Bangkok. Pretty nice guy, it was uh, no problem giving him a ride down there. I enjoyed that. And uh, he got to practice his English a little bit with me. So uh, the temple is worth your time. If you're in this area, this is the highlight of Utai Thani and uh, Chinat. Everybody comes from all around to come to this temple and uh, make merit. So definitely if you're in this area, I would recommend coming and seeing it. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, smash like and uh, subscribe if you're new here, that helps me. And leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If, uh, if you liked it or if you want me to do something different or if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll do my best to answer them or go show you in another video, whatever you want to see. So from uh, the temple, Wat Ta Sung, remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.